G'day gents, how are you going? Jace here. Thanks for tuning into jacestuart.com and I've got a video um, that was upon request from my old mate Kane Bushy, the bush pig bush. Um, what it was is he was asking about a supplement called acetyl L-carnitine. So basically the premise behind this bushy, um, and I thought I'd go live with a video instead to explain um, my take firstly on that supplement and then also just more generally about supplements. So, um, so that supplement, the aim of that supplement is it's, it's uh, proposed or marketed as a fat burner. So the concept is that in the lab, so in certain tests, um, you've got little energy cells that the body uses to well, produce energy, um, particularly when you're working out, they're called mitochondria. And basically the idea is that acetyl L-carnitine aims to drive fat into those cells so it can be used for energy production, whether it be in the gym or just surviving. Um, one of the big things in supplementation studies is that what happens in the lab doesn't always um, make sense when it actually is used in a practical sense and in a gym. So just because something works in a lab, that doesn't mean it's going to provide any benefit. The gold standard in Australia really is to research or refer to what the Australian Institute of Sport uses. Obviously, they're the peak body for, um, for sporting and athleticism in Australia. And what they basically say is that the evidence regarding that is fairly mixed. So I guess my position on supplements is this. There's three supplements that are proven beyond doubt to work. And we're talking about legal supplements here, not steroids. So the first one is creatine monohydrate. Second one is uh, caffeine in its purest form. And the third one is bicarb soda. Yep, bicarb soda or baking soda that you find in your pantry. I'll use it for another, ex another video to explain what the uh, various purposes of those three supplements are, because that's a whole big story into itself. But, you know, for someone like yourself, Bushy, who's played footy all of his life and has been a pretty active dude, but no doubt you've packed on that, uh, that belly, Ned Kelly's starting to, uh, a big Ned Kelly tattoo that you've got starting to blow out a little bit. Look, dude, the, the thing you need to do, man, is look after your diet. Straight away, I know you personally, mate, and, uh, and this is not a criticism, but um, what acetyl L-carnitine is going to do for you, even if it does work on a micro level, um, is going to be vastly offset by the fact that you need to increase your exercise and just get moving. And secondly, um, and again, this isn't a burn, but you'd be taking so many calories in through drinking um, soft drinks, but certainly things like pre-mixed alcohol drinks, bunny and coke, that sort of stuff. It's just, it's fucking chock full of calories. And to give you some sort of concept, a session of 10 um, bunny and cokes on the weekend, not that I'm saying to cut that out, but it's going to take you the equivalent of about um, five or six hours of walking to actually burn off that level of calories. So it's pretty hard to get your calorie balance right if you're drinking things in that amount. So as a really brief wrap, um, I'll come back to supplements in a little bit more detail. Acetyl L-carnitine, I wouldn't really bother with it, mate. I think don't become a victim of the supplement marketing machine um, that you see in the fitness industry. You know what, buddy? That's the top of the pyramid. That's the stuff you worry about when you've got the base of the pyramid taken care of. And the base of the pyramid is simply getting moving and looking after your calories. Just starting to eat a bit better, mate. And I can give you a little bit more detail on that. So hopefully that clears it up. I'll come back to you guys soon on some supplementation stuff. Cheers, fellas, and thanks.